Hello there, welcome to Cards and Clarity Tarot, and thank you for viewing my channel. This is going to be your general weekly reading for those of you who might be dealing with a Taurus. This could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. That doesn't really matter. You might even be a Taurus yourself. Uh, if you're familiar with tarot and the way the energy works, then you probably know that... Um, you know, this can resonate with you even if you are a Taurus not connecting with another Taurus. Um, if you'd like to speed this video up, you may do so in the settings under playback speed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as my information if you'd like to donate to my channel or contact me regarding a personal reading. So, those of you who are connecting with a Taurus, the way that, the way that I do these readings, these readings um, I'm going to pull a card for uh, the Taurus that you're connecting with. Their dominant outward trait, their dominant inward trait, how they view love in a general sense, um, how they appear to be handling the connection, how they're actually handling the connection. So we're going to see if those two match up. Sometimes they do, but a lot of the time they don't. Um, <clears throat> so what their intentions are, what so what their goal was in the connection or is in the connection, what obstacles they see present, what do they, what is at risk here for them? Then we're going to split the deck and we're going to see um, what actions they're going to take and how that's going to play out for them. So. Let's go ahead and look at the Taurus that you're connecting with. The Hangman, Piscean Energy, okay? Their dominant outward trait, their dominant outward trait. The Magician, um, so that's Virgo and Gemini. Their dominant inward trait, their dominant inward trait. Eight of Cups, more Piscean Energy. Um, how they view love in a general sense. How they view love in a general sense. Uh, eight of Wands. Uh, Sagittarian energy. <clears throat> How they appear to be handling the connection. The Hermit Virgo energy. Okay. Um, How they're handling the connection. How they're handling the connection. How this Taurus is handling the connection. How this Taurus is handling the connection. What flip sideways there? The High Priestess. Um, so that is, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, and Taurus as well. Um, so what were their intentions or what are their intentions within this connection? <clears throat> Knight of Cups, Piscean Energy. Um, what obstacles do they see present or do they see present within this connection? Nine of Wands, Sagittarian Energy. Uh, what was the goal here? What was the goal here? Seven of Wands. I have to clarify that. Seven of Wands. What is that? Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. What is that? Five of Wands. <laughs> uh, some more Leo energy showing up there. Uh, what were the risks here? Three of Cups. Cancerian energy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and split the deck and see what actions we're going to take and how that's going to play out for them. So the Six of Swords, <clears throat> Aquarian Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. So, I'm going to go ahead and say, I feel like this person is um, moving on, this Taurus is moving on and finding happiness elsewhere, is what I feel like saying here, to those of you who are connecting with this Taurus here. So, I feel like in general, this person seems kind of stuck, possibly on you, but it feels like they're just stuck in general. Um, I feel like there's some, there are some conflicts that um, are happening outside of this connection, okay, is what I feel like saying. This person, they have a lot of tricks up their sleeves. I feel like this is a person with a lot of gifts, talents, skills, abilities, okay? They can pretty much have whatever they want. That's how they're seen. All right, <clears throat> but I feel like almost like a, um, I don't want to say it like that, but it feels like somebody who kind of flees the situation when things get tough is what I feel like saying here. Uh, it feels like someone who walks away from things very easily. Okay, that's what I'm getting on the inside there as their dominant inward trait here. Dogs are barking outside, uh, but anyways, yeah, the way that they do love in a general sense, um, I feel like love is distracting, okay? Um, I feel like they enjoy love, but they feel like it's distracting, okay? They feel like it takes away from their mission, all right? <clears throat> if that makes sense here. Now, the way that they appear to be handling the connection, I feel like this person has withdrawn, okay? They're not communicating here is what I feel like saying for, um, in regards to this Taurus that you're connecting with. Now, I do feel like their intentions here were to offer you this cup, but they, they weren't for sure on that either, okay? They weren't sure on that either. Uh, their goal here, and I feel like this is an overall goal, is to beat the competition. So whatever that means, their goal here was to beat the competition. And that could mean with you, but it could just mean that they wanted you to be a part. Uh, you could have just played a role here in this Taurus's mission. All right. Um, 
whatever that means. All right. They wanted to beat someone at something. So that's what I'm getting or something. They wanted to beat something. Um, eh. um, so, uh, the way that they're handling this connection, I feel like they're holding back. All right. I feel like they're holding back emotionally. I feel like they're keeping things from you as well. There are definitely secrets here. Okay. And I can't help but feel as well that, uh, they wanted you to compete. That could have been the goal here as well. They wanted you to compete and they wanted you to win. Okay. Uh, is what I feel like saying here too, for some of you, for some of these Taurus people that you're connecting with. Um, but that's only just a select twisted few, right? So, um, yeah, because obstacles here are other options here. There are other things on their mind here. This wounded warrior, there are other things that they had to achieve here. Um, so I think that they wanted you or they want you, but there are other things that they have to take care of as well. Okay. What's at risk here? Yeah, it's the recognition. It's something that they're being celebrated for. It's something that they might be celebrated for in the future. That's at risk here if they put their energy into a connection is what I feel like saying. So I feel like they are moving towards that. It does feel like a work situation, if I'm being honest here. Um, but they are moving towards their Ten of Pentacles is what I feel like saying here. They are moving towards their uh, Ten of Pentacles. So... That's what I feel like saying here for a lot of you, though. I feel like it's really nothing to do with you. I do think this person has, has genuine love for you. <clears throat> but it seems like they were just, um, you know, it, it seems like it was too much to balance. And unfortunately, they chose this as their priority. And, you know, this is always something, too, that might be revisited later, okay? They might, you know, want to share this abundance with you as well is what I feel like saying, yeah. You might settle down with this person in the future, with this Taurus in the future, um, possibly even, you know, marriage for some of you. But that's what I'm feeling here right now. It's just kind of bad timing, unfortunately, is what I feel here. So that's what I'm getting for those of you who are connecting with the Taurus. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If so, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. Tap the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content. And thank you so much for watching.